Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. It's been a while since I have done a video. The reason being is I've been spending quite a few months on building an application called Tekinta Constructor. If you look at the uh, Wikipedia about Tekinta, it says Tekinta is a Python binding to the TK GUI toolkit. It is a standard Python interface to the TK GUI toolkit. Okay, so uh, Tekinta comes with Python. It's part of Python. So why not use it? Here is on Windows 10. This is a GUI built entirely using Tekinta. I'm really happy with the, the way I've designed it. Um, because it just it just flows uh, the code flows I've reduced the code I've gone um, I'm up to version 11 now and I just kept going until I felt I was ready to show the world so I'm showing you now uh, there's still work to be done on it but I'm happy with what it is at the moment it can create applications simple applications uh, later on it will be able to create more complicated applications um, so what I have done here is I've broken it up into forms containers menus TK widgets TTK widgets okay with the form you have an app uh, you have a page and that page would be used for a notebook we can have external pages import them to notebook and then you've got top level which is if you want to like if you press here you select the menu uh, a pop-up box will show or, or another window actually it looks like another window then you've got containers which is a label frame a standard frame their TK and a paned window which will be used for a lot more complex programming and we got the menus obviously what they're for there uh, the toolbar and status bar I don't use those I'll show you why you got your widgets TK widgets and TTK widgets okay what I'll do is I'll start making an application now just to show you what can be done so this is the root node that's project so we add application I'm going to call that text whoops capital text editor I'll give it a width of 600 height 500 and a restricted size so it doesn't go any smaller than 500 height and no smaller than 600 width so I update that so it's updated the information for that okay now on the application I add a menu bar I'll just call that main that's the only menu bar on the application then I'll add a file and that file name sorry a menu it's called file file Okay, add a menu item and go menu item so we go file new go new control plus n that is a shortcut okay add another menu item to the menu the menu is a parent the menu item is the child so I add another menu item and we call that file open and we call that open control plus O add that and another menu item and we'll call that file save that save that's control plus s update that 
add another menu item and that is underscore file save as get save as oops three dots okay control plus shift plus s update that then I'll add a separator separator name okay file exit update that and another one and we go file exit we call that exit okay control plus Q update all right so we can add another menu like edit help so I'll just leave it at that with the menu okay now I want to create a toolbar so go frame here and that will be at the top and we call it toolbar I'll make that flat is that flat? no, no make it sunken it's the pack so I go top fill X no padding update that okay so use TK widgets I'll add a button and I'll go toolbar file new no text no width okay so it's a button which means it needs a command so you go on B button okay so button yeah, I think I made that flat yeah flat the relief is flat okay so I'll pack it on the left no fill no expand but I do pad it by two and have to add an image open that go to images new okay that's all of that update that add another one another button we call that tool bar file open no text no width or height uh, that is a command so yeah on the button okay make that one flat and we go left on the side no fill no expand padding of two and get image open okay so update that right so I'll leave it at that for that one go back to app container add another frame frame and just call it uh, I won't put its location I'll just call it text and go top fill it both X and Y make it one expand one and we want five padding update that that's highlighted TK widgets and add a text widget text and call that document no width no height no relief and put that at the top fill both one 
five, five, and do right maximum. Yeah, if you go minus one, undo will be unlimited, and update that. And I think I put padding on the frame. Don't want padding on the frame, so I'll delete that. Update that. Get paddings removed. Okay, close that. And another frame. Frame, you go bottom. Status bar. And give it a groove. This here, this one here has got the groove, the status bar. Okay, put it on the bottom, fill it X, which is X, that is Y, vertical is Y, X is horizontal, don't need to expand it, no padding, update that, then go to TTK, add a label, label, we'll call that label, status bar, process take the text out don't want that make a width of 120 which will mean that the label will be from here to about there which gives us enough room to put information in relation to what the application is doing and providing messages on the bottom if there's any errors or whatever uh, we have to give it a variable there that's to update the text but I have noticed that you can use a text in square brackets and just add it as that without the variable but at the moment I'll use the variable um, what else uh, we want to put it on the left which is on this side of the status bar no fill, no expand. Uh, padding, yes, I'll put two on it. Okay, and there's no background color or images or changing the font. Uh, there was something else. I think that's it. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, put on the left side, packing. Okay, now this uh, section here has got two paned windows. So if you're making, constructing a program, uh, yeah, it's happening a little bit here. Now you've got a scroll bar so you can scroll that. Now this here goes over there so I'll just extend that that way that one that way so it doesn't change the distance between these. Uh, I guess I'd have to put like a weight but yeah i just extend it like that and there we go Alright, so now I will save the file. Images, there's already one there, it's a JSON file. Okay, that's all good, so I've saved it. Now I go here, generate code. You notice here, code generated successfully, and then I'll run it. Oh, that's interesting. We got an error. Menu bar. Frame. That's the tall bar, span, right, button. Ah, 
image. Here we go image, let's score image file, score new, that's a variable. Update that. Yep, you go down here. We go image file open, that's the name of the image. The uh what do you call it? The object. Okay, that goes there, just checking. frame, that's fine, 120, okay, I'll just check that they have been updated, yep, the one, the one's been updated, okay, I'll save that, code generated successfully and there it is okay something I think that one is raised yeah, it looks odd so we go here raised update that save it generate code successfully, see they've got messages there, and run it, there you go, there's raised, yep, that looks better, okay, so that's it, I've now constructed a text editor, and I can add more files, uh, more toolbar buttons, so that's it, that's Tikinta Constructor, what I've made so far. So, um, I'm now showing it to the world. I'm happy with what it's doing at the moment and as I said there's still a bit of work to be done with it and also um, for some of you people who are aware these icons are from BOA Constructor. You can't use BOA Constructor anymore on Windows 10 these will not show unfortunately there's a beautiful program but that is for WX Python Boa Constructor Tekinta Constructor is for Tekinta so I'll be replacing all these icons I just use them because it was a uh, I could quickly make the application using these and then I'll replace them with uh, my own I guess my own design of uh, icons for the different widgets. Okay, so that's it. Oh, one more point. I select that. I also have a contacts menu where I can delete. I can cop, cut, copy, or paste an item. I can move them up and down here, or in this case, I can move it up there, or I can move it back down. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions about this application, if you have any suggestions on what I can add to it, um, or just comments, I would really appreciate your feedback. So till the uh, next tutorial, which will be focusing on Tekinta, uh, enjoy your programming experience, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.